Welcome to Glow's Kendra Kitchen and I'm Glow. Well today I am going to be making some uh, apples in the microwave and they're like a stewed or baked apple with spices and they are very very good. And I've had a couple people request that I do a video of it so I thought today is the perfect day for it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is I have um, three different kinds of apples here. This is an Envy. These two here are um, Honeycrisp, and this is a Granny Smith apple. Um, my Envy one is has been out on the counter for a little while, so I'll definitely peel that one, but I don't think I'm even going to peel the other ones. I went ahead and I washed these. Let's see what we've got here. So this is how I core mine. I just take that right out and I've got a little garbage basket over there and I slice them into slices about like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and just peel this one. There we go. And I'm just going to cut it in like a bite sized piece like that. And you don't even have to do that if you don't want to. You can leave it like a regular whole slice. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to do this apple and then we'll be on to the next one and I'll show you that one. Well, I got the Envy one uh, cut up and now we're going to do one of the Honeycrisps. So again, you just cut it right down the middle like that. And then cut through that core again, and then you just cut out that core. You're not peeling these, right? No. The other one, the reason I uh, decided to peel it is it was older, and the skins can be tough. These will cook up real nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice it. I'm just going to put it in there like that. Again, you just take out that core. I'm going to cut that one in two and then like that. So I'm going to continue with the rest of these and I'll be back and then we're going to put the seasonings in together. Hi, well we got all of our apples cut up here. And look at the difference in the color between a Granny Smith versus like this Honeycrisp. Um, so, you know, the varieties are different, but this is going to be delicious because when you have a mixture, you're going to have a really nice stewed apple. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put in two tablespoons of butter. And that should be plenty. And then I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon, a shy half teaspoon. That's more like a quarter of salt. Not much. And I, the reason I'm not putting any more in is this is salted butter. And um, we're just trying to keep it as healthy as possible. And I have ground cinnamon. So I just put in maybe, I would say it's between a quarter and a half of a teaspoon at the most. I just sprinkle these spices in. Um, this is ground ginger. So like, you know, four, five shakes of these, all spice. Now this one I won't put as much in. It's a little bit more intense, so this one doesn't have a flip thing. So, but it adds a really nice flavor. So that's probably plenty. That's about three taps, but they were slight taps, not hard ones. Cardamom. That's a really good spice with apples, too. So I did four of that. Nutmeg. And I'll do about five of that. But those were scant. See how the holes there, too, are smaller? Yes. <clears throat> so small. And the last one is cloves, ground cloves. And that's another one that's pretty intense. So we're just going to do probably three. And when you got big holes like that, remember, just do a slight tap. 
So then the next thing is I'm going to drizzle, this is just tap water, over this. You don't want a lot. This is about, I would say, half a cup. And I'm going to do a little more. What I was looking at to see if I could see the water down in the bottom. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. It's probably just enough down there that's covering the bottom of it, and it's going to steam these apples. Then I'm going to put in just about two teaspoons of brown sugar. Not even two, actually. About one and a half. And then I've got real maple syrup. One, two, three. It's about the same amount of maple syrup it is as it is to the brown sugar. So that's all there is to it. And now I've got a lid here that I'm going to put on top of it. I'm going to just pat this down so it's kind of even. And I'm going to put this in my microwave. Now you can bake this in the oven covered. You can cook it on your stove, whatever way you want. Um, it doesn't take long. This will probably be ready in about 10 to 15 minutes in the microwave. So anyway, I'll be back in just a little bit. Well, our apples are done, and when you do them in the microwave, it doesn't take long at all. This, uh, the first round when I cooked these, it was at um, three minutes on power on the high highest power level, and then I put it down for the next six minutes or next three minutes rather at power level seven. And I would recommend my microwave though does cook hot. So, but I would recommend that you watch it, especially the last three minutes, so you don't have it overflow on you. I'm going to go ahead and sample this. You, and you can actually cook this longer if you wanted to. But we kind of like it when you're able to still, you know, bite into the apple. Let's see if it's cool enough. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's not icky sweet at all. It's just right and that butter and it's, it just really enhances it. And you can taste all those spices, the cinnamon and the nutmeg. You can taste the clove and the allspice. And even that hint of cardamom. Oh, you guys. I can see why I've had people request me to go ahead and put this out on there as a video. But I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have and you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please feel free to do so. Give me a like and a comment. I'll talk to you later. Bye.